Today, we're taking a look at 10 fantastic and free NPR assets available for Blender. If you're interested in creating stylized or anime type renders that go beyond the photorealistic, then this video is for you. These assets cover a variety of NPR styles. So whether you're into anime or something else, you're likely to find something you'd like to have. Creating convincing and appealing NPR trees can be quite challenging, often requiring specific techniques and workflows. However, the anime-inspired 2D trees add-on by Christoph Dedeen offers a convenient solution for incorporating stylized trees into your projects. This free add-on provides a collection of 2D tree assets, perfect for achieving an anime aesthetic. Rather than relying on traditional mesh-based models, the trees utilize planes with procedural textures, offering a unique and efficient approach. Furthermore, the procedural nature of the textures allows for easy customization, enabling you to create personalized variations to suit your specific needs. Not to mention, you can make a ton of variation just from the provided preset. Overall, it's one of the best NPR foliage-free asset out there. While the previous add-on offered some Ghibli-inspired trees, achieving the true essence of Studio Ghibli's iconic art style can be difficult. That's where Lightning Boy Studios' Ghibli Tree Asset comes in. Created by a studio known for its exceptional NPR animations and tutorials, this asset provides a remarkably accurate representation of the trees seen in Ghibli films. Duplicating and customizing the trees is incredibly easy. Simply make instance of the foliage and scale and the shape of the foliage changes every time. For those interested in understanding the creation process, Lightning Boy Studio also offers an in-depth tutorial on their channel. Additionally, Lightning Boy Studio have another free asset, a Ghibli-style sky, which perfectly complements the trees and further enhances the Ghibli aesthetic of your scenes. Since we're on the topic of Ghibli-style assets, let's take a quick look at one more before moving on. Ghibli anime-style procedural rocks is another fantastic creation by Christoph Dedeen. Similar to the trees, these rocks are designed to faithfully replicate the look of rocks found in Ghibli anime, and they pair perfectly with the previously mentioned tree asset. The rock's texture are procedurally generated, giving you complete control over their size, shape, and texture details. Creating variations is effortless. Simply move the rocks and the procedural textures automatically adjust. Christoph Dedeen also provides a tutorial on his channel where he delves into the creation process of these rocks. Overall, this add-on is a valuable resource for adding Ghibli or anime-style rocks to your scenes. Let's shift gears from the Ghibli aesthetic and explore another exciting genre, which is comic style. Achieving a convincing comic look in Blender can be quite challenging, but the comic procedural shader add-on by Adriano D'Elia simplifies the process significantly. This free add-on is primarily designed for EV and offers a remarkable seven different comic art style nodes to choose from. Each style is fully procedural, allowing you to customize various parameters to achieve your desired look. You can even combine multiple styles for unique and creative effects. The add-on's flexibility extends beyond the provided styles. You can apply them as overlays on top of your existing textures, opening up a world of possibilities. Adding the effects to your materials is a breeze. Simply search for the desired style within the shader editor and apply it. With its procedural nature, user-friendly approach, and abundance of options, this add-on empowers you to create stunning comic-style renders with ease. This next asset, also by Christoph Dedeen, is called Anime Style Caustics and Sparkle. If you've ever tried to create realistic water caustics, you know it can be a bit of a challenge. Achieving the stylized look of anime caustics with their distinct appearance is even more difficult. This add-in provides a procedural material that allows you to easily create and customize anime style caustics for your water surfaces. Being procedural, means you have a lot of control over the look and animation of the effect. Christoph Dedeen also has a video tutorial explaining the creation process and features of the material, which you might find helpful. 
In addition to the caustics, the add-in also includes a sparkle effect to further enhance the appearance of your water and add that extra touch of detail often seen in anime. Since we're on the topic of anime effects, let's check out another asset pack by Christoph Didin. It provides you with a range of procedural smoke and explosion effects, just like his other packs. This means you have complete control over their appearance and animation. Duplicating and modifying these effects is really easy. Simply duplicate the element, move it around, and it dynamically changes its shape to avoid looking identical. The materials are also easy to customize, allowing you to achieve the perfect look for your scene. Animating these effects is just as straightforward. Move the controller and the smoke and explosion elements animate seamlessly. Now that we've explored some cool effects, let's shift our focus to anime style buildings. Even though creating a building is not that hard, creating anime style buildings can be quite hard. This add-in created by G. Jenna Brush offers a fantastic solution. While he has several other anime building packs available, this one is completely free. And it's not just a simple static building model, it's procedural and built using geometry nodes. This means you have extensive control over the building's appearance. Adjust the height, width, and numerous other parameters by simply changing some values. The result is a building that perfectly captures the essence of anime architecture. Now, let's talk about eyes, a crucial element in character design, especially for stylized renders. Tiny Eye is a fantastic free add-in that offers a fully procedural eye solution for both Eevee and Cycles. It's created by Tiny Naki, a popular YouTuber known for his engaging tutorials on NPR character creation in Blender. The beauty of Tiny Eye lies in its procedural nature and flexibility. Everything from the pupil and iris to the sclera and even more intricate details is fully customizable. This means you have immense control over the look and feel of your character's eyes. You can easily adjust shapes, colors, textures, and other properties to achieve the perfect style for your project, whether it's cute and cartoony or sharp and dramatic. For those of you dreaming of creating stunning manga-style art, this next add-on is a must-have. It's called Procedural Hatching and Manga Shaders, and it's the work of Christoph Dedin, a name we've encountered before in this video. This add-in provides a collection of high-quality shaders designed to give your models that distinct manga aesthetic. We're talking about black and white textures, classic hatching techniques, and a level of detail that really elevates your manga art. The add-in comes with over 10 pre-made shader types, ready to be plugged and used. Each one embodies a different manga style from soft and subtle to bold and dramatic. And if you want to go beyond the pre-made options, you can even combine these shaders to create even more variations. And of course, Christoph Dedani has created a detailed tutorial on how to use the add-on effectively, so you can dive in and start experimenting right away. We've been exploring individual assets and add-ins, but now it's time to talk about something a bit different a whole engine designed specifically for NPR art style. Meet Goo Engine, a modified version of Blender created by Goo Studio, a team you've likely seen at work in many amazing anime style projects. This is where the open source nature of Blender shines. It allows developers to take the core engine and build upon it. Sadly, you can't simply download Goo Engine from a website you'll have to build it yourself by following the same method you would for the official Blender. Goo Engine packs some incredible features, including unique nodes for creating outlines and other anime-specific effects. To learn more about its full potential, check out the Goo Professor's YouTube channel. He has in-depth tutorials on Goo Engine, including a beginner-friendly series that's perfect for getting started. Goo Engine is a powerful tool for those who want to push the boundaries of NPR and anime style. So there you have it, 10 fantastic free NPR assets for Blender. I hope this video has inspired you to explore the world of stylized rendering and start creating amazing anime and NPR scenes.